He asked the question, is the Auditor General a public servant? Okay, he answers it. It's a section two of the Audit Service Act 2000, Act 584, lays the issue to rest when it lists the Auditor General as the first member of the Audit Service in these terms. The members of the Audit Service are A, the Auditor General, and B, the other persons employed. So he's saying, uh, Attorney General is explaining that if you go to uh, Section 2 of the Audit Service Act at 584, you will see that it was bizarre what the CDD lady said on Joy FM that the Auditor General is not part of the Audit Service. He, he's showing you that that is truly bizarre. That's why he said it's bizarre. So let's listen to it again. It says, Section 2 of the Audit Service Act 2000 lays the issue to rest when it lays the Auditor General. So I don't know whether the lady didn't read Section 2. I don't know whether CDD have not read Section 2. But if this is what Section 2 says, and we have checked and it says so, uh, then they were manifestly wrong. That's the law. It's black and white, isn't it? Okay, let's move on. He says, it is thus clear that the propositions of CDD Ghana and its board members can only result from an inadequate reading of the laws of Ghana, including the Constitution on the, and the Audit Service Act. Appointments made to the Audit Service Board must be in consultation with the Public Services Commission. Can the Attorney General advise a member of the Public Services of Ghana, including the Auditor General? That's a question the Attorney General poses. And the answer is here. He says, it is astonishing that CDD Ghana disputes the proprietary the, the propriety of the Attorney General rendering legal advice to the Auditor General and construes same as an interference with the independence of the, of the Auditor General. Now, he says he doesn't understand it. It's completely astonishing for CDD to assume that advice to the Auditor General, it, it means that, what word does he use? It, it, it's an interference with his work. He, he's at a loss about why anybody will say that. But why is he at a loss? Let's, let's get the details. Okay. A proper reading of the Constitution, especially the provisions of the public services of Ghana, leads to the inescapable conclusion that the Attorney General is fully vested with the constitutional function of giving legal advice to all the public services, especially, specifically listed in Article 190 of the Constitution, including the Audit Service and such other public services as will be established by law. Okay. So, Article 190 of the Constitution is what we have set out here. This is not part of the Attorney General's statement. This is our statement, okay? Now, the Article 190 says, the public services of Ghana shall include, A, the civil service, the judicial service, and then the audit service. So we are trying to resolve the argument here. We are trying to resolve the conversation that, is the, is the, can the Attorney General, because CDD people say that, the Attorney General cannot even advise. He cannot advise the Auditor General. When he advises, it's interference. Now, the Attorney General is pulling out of the law that he advises government, and that if you look at Article 190, the Audit Service is part of it. Now, CDD has said that the Auditor General is not part of the Audit Service. We now know that that is totally ridiculous because the law says it clearly in uh, Act 584 that the Auditor General is part of the Audit Service. That's very basic. That's very fundamental. Why anyone will think so, I'm not so sure, but that's very basic. Okay? We've seen it, seen it in the law. So this Article 190 that we publish here because we have looked at this and we, we agree with the Attorney General's position. But this is Article 190. You can look at it. It says, Public Service of Ghana shall include civil service, judicial service, and audit service. How will anybody say that the Auditor General is not part of it? Let's move on. Attorney General continues, Article 295 indicates that the public services listed in Article 190 and other public services established by Parliament pursuant to its legislative powers are part of the civil offices of the government. 